Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Biro here. I'm a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading from Spirit, where we dive in, see what's in store in the cards. I'm using tarot again today, the Light Sears Tarot deck. And let's see what Spirit wants to share today. It's been some really cool messages this week, some collective messages, some empowering personal messages. Let's see what they have to say about today. I'm going to give it two more shuffles. wanting to come out oh wonky there we go okay. oh interesting interesting okay i really like this this is really cool lots of intense energies here happening today so we have two kings that have come out okay which i'll speak about in a minute and then we have the seven of swords and the 10 of swords. So this is intensity energy, but that's okay. This is great stuff. So first of all, the king of swords, we've seen the queen of swords uh, earlier in the week. So now we have the king of swords. And again, it's not really gender specific. It's about being at that position of observing from the mountaintops. You can see that sitting high in the mountains, having climbed that mountain and reached the top. This means a real keen awareness of the emotional state within of the um, mending and healing that has happened in order to reach this pinnacle. So this is saying, take all your emotional awareness and bring it to the table right now because you're gonna need it. Um, what you're gonna need it for is in connection to the seven of swords. So the seven of swords can be sometimes leaving something behind, but it can also sometimes be deception, betrayal, um, we can see a lot of this in the world around us, feeling almost this um, betrayal of, you know, how we used to think the world was, betrayal of what we think should happen but doesn't happen. Um, and for some of you, this could be like personal betrayals as well, uh, or personal losses of having to also choose to leave some stuff behind that maybe we didn't want to, but we have to. It's no longer serving us in the emotional realm, because again, swords represent the emotional realm. So. In recognizing what those things are, the pieces that burden us, look at it from this higher perspective, from the perspective of the mountain. What did this experience teach you and what can you gain from it? Because what happens is when you really take the time to tune in to it, you then can see it from the perspective of the king of wands. Now this, again, wands energy relates to fire energy. It is very fast moving, sparking um ignition based and so when you take that king perspective of the swords and pair it with the king perspective of potentiality you have a huge ability to create create something new now remember we saw the tower card before now the accompanying card for this one here is the ten of swords the ten of swords can sometimes be seen like a death card um, and I'm not really talking physical death here. Sometimes it can mean that I won't sugarcoat it, but what I'm getting here is more in connection to the tower of letting things crumble so that you can rebuild. So 10 of swords, all the swords, remember, talk about the emotional landscape within this person here. You can see they've actually turned their back on what no longer belongs, which is the seven of swords. And they're looking towards the light. You see how they're standing at the precipice now of seeing the light. They have let what is old and outdated uh, fall away and die, die off, be released, transcend, so that they can move forward. They've freed these crows here that have been stuck tormenting them. And they're really now feeling that wind in their sails, feeling the energy of moving them forward because they're willing to take the steps needed to do that. So although some of these cards could seem kind of heavy and daunting, what's actually happening is it's hugely empowering, hugely empowering. It's saying you have grown a ton. So take the lessons you've had and reflect on what no longer needs to be in your life, no longer needs to be in your thought patterns or your emotional landscape and let it go. And as you let it go with this, you know, powerful sparking energy of this king of wands, you then can really let it go and move forward into the light, into the new, and move with the energies that seem to be really showing themselves this week. So 
this is actually fantastic. This is great. So I hope that helps inspire you guys to kind of reflect on anything that might be holding you back and how can you let it go? How can you put it to rest? Let it be so you can move forward. The light is waiting for you to shine with it. Whew. All right. I'm feeling inspired. Um, okay, you guys have a beautiful rest of your week. If you want to dive in deeper to expanding your consciousness, maybe that's part of your letting go and sparking some new things with authority, check out avalonspirit.com. We have lots of avenues for that. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and share and, uh, I will see you again tomorrow.